Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I am going to do my mixed media canvas and I have my little girl that I cut out. I know I'm going to make her a like positive, in, like positivity, uh, intent kind of thing. So what I did, I was good. I didn't know whether I wanted to do black or what I wanted to do. So I decided to take Prussian blue and I put it on here. I sprayed a little bit of water. I took <clears throat> like pieces of paper, a bunch of different ones. And which I love doing this. I set it on top. I set it on top of the wet part. I set it on top and, you know, moved it around and did these little prints. Um, which I'll just keep using to make mixed media backgrounds. But I mean, look how cool. And now I started, you know, my own jelly print, so to say. I was going to do black. And I had this piece of black cardstock here. And I thought, well, let me, let me see. And I kind of dig it. But then I got an idea for another painting. And I thought, well, I'll wait. Maybe I'll use this as the whole background. I didn't leave. And I decided to go with blue. So what I want to do is I want it to be sky-like. So I'm going to move her and I have this stencil from Plaid. And we're going to hope to the gods that this is acrylic paint and not dilution. So <laughs> I think it's paint. And I'm just going to set this here. And I have, I have a uh, brushed metal in do, 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 what color are you? What color are you? brushed pale silver. I have uh, brushed pearl gold. So I think I'm going to like do different colors around. And then when it's dry, I'm going to go back with some delightful glitter effect, which I love. And what I'm going to do to make it easier on myself is I'm going to just set this down. I'm going to make it square on the canvas so then I can go back to put the glitter and I kind of know where to go and I'm putting it all over uh, as well as once that's dry I will add wings onto her you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm going to do okay so I'm gonna move my gun gonna put some paper here I'm going to squirt it out. That's a gorgeous color. That's the pearl. I put a little bit too much. <laughs> That's all right, though. And then some of that silver. This stuff is phenomenally delightful. And then I'm going to get my sponge -roo. This is my sponge I use for everything. And let's go in the silver first. I will dab it off a bit. And I'm gonna dab some stars. And I think I'm gonna do like four four. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see how it looks. So when I like to look, I hold on to this and then I'll just move it a little bit when I do that. And then see how it's kind of coming up? Because you don't want them to be too much. You uh and like I said, I'm going to put glitter on them as well. I just want them to be, I want it to be a sky full of stars. And then I'm going to make one special star. I said I was going to do four and four, but I think I lied. I think I'm going to just do it. Let's do it. And then I'll make one special. One special star. One special star in the sky. I'm gonna mix them, gonna mush them. And I don't have to necessarily do um, it everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't have to have three million stars. I like a lot of stars, but I'm just kind of doing that. And you can see, now you can definitely see these more, which I'm not mad at. So I'll go down here and do a few here. Let's go some more of that gold. Let me 
going to move over here. I know I'm going to have her down in here too, but be all right if some stars come and poking out. Who doesn't like some pokey stars at you? Right? We all love a pokey star poking out. I don't know if we do. Maybe. That's your gig. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Did I mess that one up a little bit? Yeah, but I don't care. They're stars. They're just going to be stars. Plus, remember, I'm going to layer on top as well uh, in places that I, you know. So I'm going to go down here. I really like the way the gold's coming off the, the um, blue. So... I think I'm just going to go around here a little bit. And see. Yeah. Yes, yes. A little bit up here, and that's it. Like I said, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it very, you know, so I can go back because I do want sparkles. If I wipe, I'll take it some of that off. Nope. Yeah, probably should have done more, more gold. That's what I'm gonna go in for. So I'm gonna try to match it up because I kind of scorched it everywhere. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that gold. This is so pretty. Again, this is a brushed pearl gold. Oh, delightful. It is delightful. And it's just a metal looking thing. Color. All right. Where's my... I guess this is the side. I don't know. I want this to be very bright. I'm using a sponge. You definitely can use a, um, you know, a brush. Do you know what I'm saying? To uh, like a, what the heck are they even called? Stencil brush. <laughs> Get a little bit down here. Like I said, this also becomes a mixed media element where I can layer on top. I can do whatever I want because it's my painting. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then maybe I'll scrape up whatever's left here. And just push it, push it real good. Dun, dun, dun. Stop singing, Kale. All right, and like I can go over this like a little mush and mush right there. I'm not, I'm not mad. You know, never be mad if you make a mistake, cause we can fix it. It doesn't. That's all it takes. I don't know. So let me see. She'll be in here and her wings are going to be there i could do a little bit more there which maybe i will real quick because i want to and i want to want to now so i'm gonna let me see if i can find a brush to show you exactly the difference um do i have a no i probably don't because i don't really use them much a stencil brush. What the heck are you? Huh. Let's see. This isn't one, but I'm just going to use a dry brush and then tap it off and then go in here and tap and tap. And get a little bit more. Tap it off and tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. And tap, and tap. And tap. I'll do a little bit more over here. And if you go around in a circle, sometimes it screws up. So, but you see, same gig, a little bit down here. It's the same gig every night. I don't need it to be bright and everything. 
just get some color. Okay. So same, like I said, same thing. It's not a big deal. And now rinse your brush and then rinse your brush. Tap off your brush. Dry off your brush. Okay. Set it there. So when you use it later. Okay. So I will be back. I'm going to dry it and then I'll be back. So we're all dry. I'm going to paint her face and I'm just going to use the light flush from Folk Art. And give it a shake. Get all them juices together. And I just take off the lid because when I shake it, it gives me enough pigment in there. I'm going to grab a brush. Go and dip it. Going in. I can go and, you know, do the hair and touch up everything, which is what I usually like to do. And sometimes I'll just paint over um, the eyebrows and that kind of thing. I just won't paint over the green. I'm having a hard time seeing today. I don't know why. I wonder if I get a little closer and take off my glasses. I am not what they call a careful painter. That's why I love mixed media. If you're wondering, like, oh, do I want to paint, you know, pictures or mixed media? That's why I love mixed media. You can do both. Um, paint on your mixed media background, which I have tons of videos on. And I love doing, I could do them daily because <laughs> I love mixed media backgrounds. I probably should get a smaller brush. So I'm going to just do another coat on these real quick. 
I got to paint on here. And then I'll grab another. This is an odd girl and I started odd girls a lot, a long time ago, really. Um, for people who, at the time, people were wanting to paint girls, you know, like uh, folk art or other. And so I started doing these odd girls where it didn't matter. My explanation was, oh, okay, you know, we're all kind of odd in our own ways, meaning we all have maybe, ridiculous, but we all have an eye, like our eyes might not, um, or you throw your paintbrush, your eyes might not be uh, as symmetrical as you want. Your nose, you might have a bump on your nose. You might have broke your nose when you were younger and now it's not, you know, perfect. Nobody's really perfect, but um, do you know what I mean? Like. Maybe you don't have cheekbones. Maybe you, your cheekbones are too pronounced. Maybe your eyebrow is half missing. Maybe your eyebrows are teeny. Maybe they're so full. Maybe this eye's smaller. Maybe it's a little up higher. Maybe you're not, you see what I'm saying? Your lips disappear as you get older, like mine, or one's bigger than the other, or, and it's all perfectly normal and it's all perfectly wonderful. And so I just start calling them my eye girls. So when you draw, and they don't look, sometimes I make them purposely not look. And if you've just recently found me, hello and thank you. I hope you click that subscribe button down below. Um, please, uh, please, even if you've been with me for a while, please click that subscribe button if you've not already. But anyway, um, you know, so I started doing them so people can draw and not have to worry that things aren't as perfect as they want them. And they're like our little odd girls. Like I said, if you go through my channel, you'll find them and I'll do some more. She's an odd girl as well, but um, not as odd as I normally do. But you can see like her body, her hand, what the heck is her hands doing? I don't know, but it's all right. It just represents, I, I, I do it because it represents all of us, or it represents me. Some people get upset. They don't feel that they're odd. Um, I am odd, and I take full responsibility for my oddness. I accept my oddness. Um, how am I odd? Oh, the ways. But, uh, you know, I'm just, not only the way I look, but the way I am. I don't like eating at restaurants. It takes a lot to get me to go to a restaurant. It is not my gig. I never did like it. Um, my lips as I get older are disappearing. My teeth, I had braces, you wouldn't know it. But they're starting, because of the medicine and the RA, I had a tooth fall out and they're all like separating. So I gotta go to the dentist, which I don't like people touching me. So that's another thing. Um, Oh gosh, I could go on. Try to get these little fingers here. I don't mind so much here because I got to paint the dress, but I want to kind of be a little bit more careful here if I can. I am uh, going to be 50 December 29th and I'm a metalhead. And not only do I love metal, heavy metal music, I'm a 70s freak. So I put on, yesterday I was sewing, I'm making a, uh, I have all my nephew's old like shirts from when he was a baby and you know, that he outgrew. So I'm making like a quilt for him for Christmas. Um, so I put on my 70s R&B yesterday. And that's what I did. Do I want to have it? I don't know. I don't know if I want to have it like as a long sleeve shirt. If I do, I got to paint that over. Is that a big deal? No. Um, you know, so I have my 70s on yesterday, R&B 70s or disco, depends on my mood. Um, I'm a Barbara Streisand freak from way back in the day. That's not really odd. Uh, maybe some people don't like her, but 
but I also am a metal head to the core, to the core. So people don't realize that about me. What's the strangest food you ever, I'll do a separate video for that. I'm not going to do that now. I'll, we'll do that after. But yeah, so I could go on and on, but who cares, right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just talking. Um, but yeah, so that's what the odd girls came from is like, you know, draw, draw. And I'll do one. I saw Veronica, even though this is an odd girl, but I saw Veronica, um, who I adore. She asked for another odd girl and I, have been, you know, sketching and doing stuff. So I'll do one on another video. This video editing isn't the word I would use, but I'm trying to, um, on things that are boring, kind of speed through and add music so you don't have to sit through it and, you know, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to paint these, my favorite pink, this is just the uh, bright pink it's called. I'm going to shake it and do the lips and let that dry. And I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to do this like a yellow because I want it to, I don't necessarily want this to be so different. So, uh, you know, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say. See? Odd. All right, this is going to be too transparent. Not going to be as opaque as I want it. Is that going to be a problem, Kelly? I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to paint it in. It kind of comes out watercolor. I love to, I've been loving, I shouldn't say I love to. I have been obsessed with doing uh, abstracts. And so I'm loving transparent paint. Because it really gives you a cool look. And... I decided that I will do a couple of mixed media pieces, backgrounds, and use some transparent paint and show you what I love about them. So that'll be coming up, I don't know, this this year, next year, who the heck knows, Kelly. But I will. I will um, I want to show you what I love. Look at that. All right. So she's going dry there and I'll have to decide what I'm going to do next so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this real quick and I'm going to grab a yellow because I want to give that a second to dry before I go on and oh child what happened let's do medium yellow Let's take our brush and dip it in here. This is almost gone, my medium yellow. Because I'm going to put some pattern on here, I believe. So I want it to be a little lighter than, you know. Because I want her to look a little angelic. So I don't want to go too, too bright. You know, with the lips, I might just do another coat. But it's more like, let's say, a lip gloss. Because they can have lip glosses. You don't have to do lips like nice bright red lips like I like. You do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. I have the puppy in the crate. Emily just left for work again. It's the morning. Because last night I just let everything dry. So now I came back this morning. Did laundry. Folded laundry. Put laundry away. And checked all my emails. I have a million emails answered some emails and I'm here doing the next one doing the next one next part and I'm just now let me show you something something you might want to consider when you're going and buying paint brushes see this it is called a 
angle brush. This is a half inch. They come in a quarter. They come in different sizes. And what I like about this is, get off there, go water. What I like about this is you can see, I'm going to go here and kind of push it down and I can get in these corners a little better because you have this angle. And then when I want to get into this little part, I just turn it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. And it, you can, it, it's kind of like a twofer, right? And then you use the tip. You could turn it upside down if you want and just use the tip that way. You can use the tip whatever way you want. Sometimes you can like use the tip a certain way, but you know, hey, it's, it's up to you. So I really like these. So if you're going out and you're buying uh, paint brushes for the first time, and I did see Dollar Tree had these as well. Um, buy, you know, buy an angle one. This is Waverly, which is a plaid. Uh, I got it from plaid, um, folk art. But, uh, you know, these are nice because you can use them. If you can't afford a lot, you can still use it in a small space as a small paintbrush. Um, so you, like I said, it's a twofer, which I love. But, you know... If you're like me and you're sloppy and you're like, look at me go, look at me go. But let me show you. I'm going to turn this around. Always turn, turn, turn. Not going to sing, but I know you guys know the song I was going to sing. I'm just going in there. See? Little bit. Oop, sweep it. Sweep it. Sweep it. Take it around. Take it around. There we go. Okay. And then I'll do, I see, I missed a few spots and I'm okay. This color, this is medium yellow from Far Folk Art. Kelly, Folk Art. Say it. Um, is absolutely delightful because it is so, look at it, it's so opaque. It's like fantastic. I know people fuss and they're like, oh, folk art. Blah, blah, blah. I love folk art. I love the company. I love plaid as a company. I love folk art as paint. I love their uh, glitter. I, I love everything. I don't think I've had really a bad uh, thing from them. that arm a little going the opposite way see I like it having the yellow as like I don't know it's just kind of seems more like an angel would she be showing her little naked arms maybe but I'm not not because I didn't just because I like the I might put a little um draw a little like lacy kind of edge or something to it I like it can you see how easy and I can just turn it the opposite way in my hand and pull it back, pull it back, give it a stroke, pull it back. It's like, have you guys heard of one stroke? Painting? Delightful. All right. And I can just draw over those lines with a marker when I'm done. Or paint. You don't have to have a marker. Don't uh, get it twisted. Don't get mad at me. You can use your black paint, of course. I might. Who knows with me? Depends on my mood. All right. And I'm just going to clean my brush off. On here. Okay. And when it's dry, if I say, if I'm like, oh, I need to put more, blah, 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 I will. I'm not against it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn to rinse my brush in my one, get it clean, you know, like here. Oh, you can see my fat jiggle. And then in my other one to make it like that, squinch the water off, give it a dry and put it there. So it's ready. So you see so far, we're getting there. Okay. 
She needs legs. I know. I know. I know. We'll do legs. Okay. So I'm going to take, we're going to do her hair, her hair, her hair, which was asphaltum, which is like a reddish brown. I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to open it. I'm going to take this small brush. I'm going to dip it. I'm going in. And I can feel that the yellow is on my arm a little bit. Now I'll paint outside the black marker. I'm not worrying about it. Because I'll just go back and draw. I can't talk and do this. I'm afraid I'll really make her odd. <clears throat> Although I could make her have my hair, which is all over the place all the time. Lately, even when I pull it up, I don't know why a piece falls out like it does, but it does. And I went to the thrift store the other day, went and got in the car, looked in the mirror, and was like, oh, well, that's pleasant. Big old piece sticking up like alfalfa. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? Now, see, like right here, I did a little boop boop. I don't care. It's just going to be a little curl. Don't mess with it, especially a darker brown. I mean, if you want to, you can, but I won't. I'll just make it look like she had a little curl there. Okay. And if it's light underneath some places, it's not a big deal. It's hair. Okay. So that is done. Now I might use what's left on here, the brown, and sketch out <clears throat> legs. Do I want to? No, I don't. But let me show you my thing that I've been doing. I've been using a gel pen to draw with, and then it like disappears when I go to paint because it's not permanent. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you what I'm going to use. I want her legs to kind of be like up too, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Like she's flying, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't have to. I mean, she got legs under there. We're just doing, she's folk art. Don't fuss. Don't fuss about it. Okay. So I want to find my marker that I was working with. Excuse the flabbiness. And I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed through this next part so you don't have to watch me redraw everything. And then I'll be back. Mm -hmm. 